eyes they shine like stars I feel the earth revolve when he holds me in his arms the clouds up in the sky are gone when he is near the troubles I had yesterday simply disappear when he holds me tight I know tonight that I'll sleep sound and dream of you. You. couldn't take it much longer. There were too many bodies, too much crime, too much hate. In my business you get used to seeing hands, heads, penises, legs and other limbs chopped off. But you never quite get used to seeing dead people. One can live with your penis chopped off for 48 minutes without bleeding out. That is a complete guess and totally made up. Ben. Well, wet. There's been another murder. What? Are you taking the piss? No. Why would I do that? <sighs> this took me completely off guard. It didn't take me completely off guard. Of course there had been another murder. In a major city with over four million people, a murder is happening every two minutes. Again. Totally made that up. Where are we going? To the city park. I hate picnics. Getting a chill, Fred. Really? You've been at crime scenes like this hundreds of times. Son and get cold feet. Why? I don't know where. I don't know. Gentlemen. Thank you for coming at such short notice, Detective Dover. 
This is my associate, Wet Farts. Oh. He's of German descent. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. Hitler. Mm -hmm. Well, gentlemen, this is a tough one. Mm. The victim is 22-year-old Stacy Girl. She's found by that woman over there walking her dog. Yeah. She had one gunshot wound to the stomach and was later thrown into the lake. Forensics say it happened between eight and nine last night. Do you have any suspects yet? No. Oh, well, this is fucking shit. Now, I told you it was a tough one. Eh? Mm. How did you identify the body? Did she have a wallet on her or something? Nope. After she was shot, she was uh, stripped naked and thrown into the lake. Well, then how did you know the body was Stacy Goff's? Definitely a prostitute. Yes, definitely a prostitute. Well, she was my daughter. Ah? Huh? So, did um, you, so... Yeah, she was my daughter. What's uh, the prost... Um, Stacy. Stacy. Stacy Goff. Uh, was... uh, she, she looks nice. She was lovely. Yeah. Lovely. Really? Um, she was a pretty very, girl. Very pretty girl. Mm. Um, so she must have done uh, well. She must have done, done well. well. You know, well, whatever well. she did, you know, she, I mean, she would have been a, a, a great prostitute if she wanted to. Obviously, if she wanted well, to be one, but she, you know, she obviously lovely. Yeah, so. Anyway, That's okay. You don't have to say anything else. Um, <clears throat> if you don't mind me saying, Mr. Goff. Goff. Uh, oh, call me Jack. Jack. <laughs> Um, yeah. If you don't mind me saying, Mr. Goff, you don't seem that upset about your daughter's murder. Yeah. Well, Ben, it's been almost 15 hours now. It's, it's time to move on. Yeah. I see. Yeah. Of Fair course. Yeah. You know, get on with things. Mm. Make the mm. make the dinner. Keep mm. on rolling. Wash the dishes. Mm. You, know, mm. you can't stop doing those things. Yeah. yeah, yeah you got to move Everything on. Everything falls apart. Got to move on. Yep. Gerald. Is it boss? Uh, like you to meet uh, Ben Dover and his associate uh, Hitler. Hello, detective. Hi, right. Hitler. Yeah, Gerald is. Uh, he's my bitch. Oh. Yeah. Right, you can go. Go, go, go. Oh, okay. Bye. Mm. Yes, my little Stacy. She was well on her way to becoming a professional athlete. Did you know that? Yeah, what did she do, if you don't mind me asking? She's. Swimmer. Oh. Yeah. Mm. She loved the water. Loved it. Mm. Yeah. Well, Jack, I'm sorry for your loss. We'll do everything we can to find your daughter's killer. I appreciate it. Thank you. Sir, you might want to take a look at this. Right, yeah. Right. Excuse me, boy. Yeah. She was killed, then thrown in the lake. Why? Maybe the killer wanted her body to sink to the bottom, never to be retrieved again. Wet. Everybody knows you can't dispose of a body like that. Eventually, it will just float and mm. be discovered. Well, then maybe the killer wanted her body to be found. Yes. Yeah. Yes, he did. Mm. Wet. Wet. How much would you bet that this doesn't belong to young Stacy? Well, I don't know. It is a public park. What? Well, it's a public park, so people lose small things like that all the time. No, they don't. Yes, they do. No, they don't. Yes, they do. No, they don't. Yes, they do. Like what? Well, like that, or, 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 or a pair of keys. Bollocks. Bollocks? Bollocks. So you're saying that you've never lost a pair of keys? Nope. In your life, you've never lost a pair never. of keys? Never. So the keys you've got on you now are the keys that you've always had? Well, no, not always had. Obviously, when I moved house, I had to get a new pair of keys. So when you... I changed car, I had to get a new pair of keys. Yeah, but so you've just got this pile of just, just old keys in your house. Obviously not a pile of old keys. No, they're just keys that I've had. It's not a whole pile. It's just Dotted keys. around the... Well, no, I don't lose my keys. I my struggled to oh, believe that. Oh, shut up. My mother told me the only thing you can lose in this world is your mind. Ben, your mother committed suicide. Yeah, I know. She was right all along. Jack. Yeah. Jack. Um, 
Did this ring belong to Stacy? I do not recognise that ring. Oh, for fuck's sake, man. Oh, well, calm down. It could be hers. Oh. Just keep it, so you know. Oh, calm down. It could be hers. Just keep ben. it. For... Thank you. Um, I'll call you if we have any more updates. That's better. Right. I hope you'll do the same. I will. Come on. Hitler. Through my phone. Yeah, I know. It's 1940s. Mm. Fucking nugget. I was sat at the same place I've been sat for years. At my desk. I couldn't help but think that the ring had to be a clue. That it was our first step. Our first step closer to identifying the killer. Our first step closer to... Oh, what are you still doing here? It's past midnight. What is it, Wet? You interrupted my voiceover. Oh, sorry, I was just checking the lights. Why? They're all on. Oh, exactly. Exactly what? If they're all on, it means they are working perfectly fine. Be gone. All right. Good night, Ben. Yes. Now, where was I? Uh, ah, yes. I... One step closer to solving our murder. One step closer to justice. Justice. That word always gave me a hard one in my trousers. Justice. Justice. Just. Is. Just. Is. Just ease. Ease. Easy. Easy justice. Ease. Just. Ease. Jizz. 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 Jizz in my trousers. I knew it. A prostitute. When we get in wet, let me do the talking, okay? Yeah, sure. There's a certain type of person that goes to these kind of places. Uh-huh. Good day, sir. We are investigating a murder, and we're wondering whether you could show us where the ladies' locker rooms are located. Mm. Sir, it's a matter of life and death. Well, it's a matter of death. How oh, will How oh, you? Him. Mm. It's, it's me, BJ. It's been a long time, BJ. Weird. <laughs> I'm my boy, Dad. Hey. It's been a long time. It's you been are, a long time. <laughs> What's going on in my youth? What brings you around these circumstances? <laughs> We're just investigating some madness to do with guns and violence. You? Well, I mean, no, no, nothing about them thing there, uh, you know. We're not pointing any fingers in your direction, obviously. We were just hoping you might know someone or let us have a look around this establishment and see what we can find. No, sir, I mean, no, no, nothing about them thing there. Mm. It's the last time. They did come round and oh, that boy did step into the place and that like a year. Yeah, man. <laughs> it's like one time one man come in the backside of the place, come chat about him, light up the blood flat. I mean, I look at you now, like, who you are chat with? Oh, How are these bags and the man look on you? And he was. I had the, the orange hat on. Yeah, yeah. I've never seen this language expressed before. Datings. Yo. You know? What did it all mean? And it was no normal handshake either. That was for sure. I'd never seen this behaviour from wet before, and I would have lied if I said it didn't turn me on ever so slightly. Do you reckon we could have a little look indoors? Yeah, man, yeah, man. Come through, come through, come through. Yeah, man. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. See you again, man. You know, I come through, come through, come through. Can we have a look? Yeah, man, yeah, man. Come, come, come. Okay, come on in there. <laughs> Why? Hi, Wet. Oh. Hi, Dixie. Hey. Ready for round five? Uh. Do you guys know each other? No, not very much all. so. Ah. Do I detect an accent? <laughs> She's Australian. <laughs> Interesting. Well, let's throw another shrimp on the barbie. We don't like that. Yeah. Anywho, uh, wait, don't you? Don't you have a girlfriend? What? I mean, 
No, no, no. no. What? No, 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 no. Well, we're we're, uh, we're we're figuring things out. Oh, good. So you're still together with her then? Yeah. No, no, what? no. I'm really sorry, Wet. No, we. Well, no, I, I am. But oh. you fucking bastard! I've broken up with her. What? We haven't really broken up, so just go along with it. Really? I'm right here. Yeah, she, she's right. You know, why, why are you whispering to me when she's... Dixie, she's just... she is no longer in the picture. <sighs> what picture are we talking about here? Ben, it's a metaphor. So. I was going to say, because obviously the family picture you've got... Um, family before. picture? Ben! Oh, no. I know when to walk away. <clears throat> Have fun, you two. Sorry. You have to wait outside like everyone else. Great. What can I do you for, Detective? Well, <clears throat> you see, Mrs. Um... Queen, for JJ. Cool. Uh, I have just a few questions for you. Shoot. Do you, or any of the other women, recognize this ring? It's a gift from the house. Everyone gets one. Hmm. I see. Why do you ask? Is there one of you that has not shown up for work these past few days? Sorry, no. Really? Really. I am sorry we couldn't help you. Oh, there's no problem. Excuse me. I want to talk to you. With me? No. The woman next to you. It was, it was a joke, darling, and a bloody good one at that. Tell me, what's your pretty little name? It's Blue-Eyed Barbie, mm. but you can call me Barbie if you like. Barbie it is. It's Barbie. Now, Barbie, tell me, do you know of a Stacy Goff? She goes by the name of Stacy Shamalama Ding Dong here. Stacy Ding Dong? So it is... Shama... Shama Lama. Okay, Shama Lama. Shama... Then it's Ding Dong. Come in. Ding Dong. Got it. Shama Lama Ding Dong. Okay. Now, Burby, tell it's me. It's Barbie. Was Stacy supposed to be in work today? Well, she's had it rough lately. How so? I don't know the details, detective, but she um she she had a conversation with me and she mentioned a Mr. Ice Jutz. He's her drug dealer, apparently. Drugs. I never understood drugs. I could see in Burby's eyes that she did. She understood drugs. She didn't know I knew. Maybe it was best to keep it that way. Maybe later I could tell Burby I knew about her not knowing about me knowing about the drugs. But I still didn't know if Burby knew about me knowing about Stacy's murder and Stacy not knowing about other people knowing about her drug dealer and other people around here knowing of her drug addiction. Regardless, I had to know. Burby. It's Barbie. Do you believe that Mr. Ice Jutz would have any reason to hurt Stacy? Oh my god, is Stacy all right? Stacy is dead. Oh my god. Hey, come on. Now I've promised a good man that I will find the killer and I will not rest for a moment until I do. Okay? So come on. Calm down, it's fine. I'll get him and I'll kill him. Well, I won't, I'll, I'll arrest him, put him in jail. But, you know. Come. Oh my god, that's fucking disgusting. What? Oh, uh, I promised a good man that I will find um, uh, Stacy's killer and I, I, I won't rest until I'm, I have done. How did she die? 
Well, well, I'd rather not say. It's OK, Detective. Just spare me the awful details. She got shot twice in the stomach, resulting in a massive internal bleeding. She then, after a minute or so of terrible, unbearable pain, choked on her own blood and suffocated. One might even say drowned in a pool of her own blood. She was found naked in the city park yesterday, floating in a lake. It's terrible. But I'll spare you the details, Burby. Burby. Hmm. Faint of heart. Wet. Huh? Flies undone. Oh, uh, yeah. Come on. Sorry, Dixie. Uh, I'll be back. You better. Meow. The roof. Oh, get over it. Come on. Oh, okay. Get out. Gentlemen. The JJ. have told him anything about the drugs. I didn't, I promise. Good. And fix this. It looks fucking horrible. People keep saying that. What does it mean? <laughs> so Stacy was a drug addict as well? Yes. Talk about some stereotype. Hmm? I mean, selling sex and doing drugs? It's just like all the films. They always end up dead, and it winds up being the prostitute's father or something like that that kills her. I think we can find out who this Mr. Ice Jutz is. We'll find our killer. You think he did it? I don't know, Wet. I don't know. I was hoping Mr. Police Chief Jack Goff might be able to help us with that. If that name rings any bells, if he's ever been in trouble with the police before, we'll find him. Come on. Ben, why do we walk everywhere? Why can't we get like a company car? It's a student film wet. We don't have the budget for a car. Should we go? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I know. Just a minute, lads. You don't have the evidence. What is evidence? You don't know where evidence is. Fuck me. Where are you from? Sweden. Ah, that makes a lot of sense. You're from fucking Sweden, right? Don't you have some fucking meatballs to eat or some shit? Yeah? No, I mean that 100%. Yeah, Swedish meatballs. Huh? That, I need evidence that she fucked him. But, what is evidence? Oh, look at me. I'm Swedish. We have great health care, but I don't know English. Huh? Right, I I'll tell you what I'll do. We'll get back to you in a few weeks if we find any more information. Right now, I'm just a bit busy, okay? All right. Right. Bye, madam. Okay. Yeah. 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 Fuck off. Fuck me. Scandinavians, am I right? Fucking. What? Gerald! Some coffee for our guests, yeah? Yeah? Hello, Hello. you think it's over? Hello, where? Hello, Gerald. Hello. We have reason to believe that your daughter was working as a prostitute down at the brothel. I beg your pardon? Uh, we, ha we have reason to believe that your daughter was working as a prostitute down at the yeah, brothel. I, I heard you the first time. No, I, I didn't say anything the first time. That was, that was, that was wet mm. muggins over there. Were you, uh, were you aware of this, Jack? No. 
If I'd known about this, she wouldn't be selling her vagina to 40-year-old men. Huh? Jesus, that is disgusting. I know this might come as a shock to you as well, but we have reason to believe she was doing drugs in her spare time. What kind of drugs? Coke. Thank God. Oh. Beg your pardon? Well, I thought she'd moved on to something worse. Worse? Like what? Like actual coke, maybe? Do you know how much sugar is in one can of that shit? Coke, on the other hand, is helpful. It helps you stay awake, alert, agile. Huh? As a matter of fact, Thank God for cooking. I didn't understand. Why was the chief of police doing coke right in front of us? How was I supposed to just look past this? The father of my murdered victim was a druggie. Help yourself, sir. I couldn't possibly do that line of coke. I'd stayed away from drugs too long for me to start again now. No, thank you, you can, uh... Oh, big boys! Huh? You can do all three. Oh. Hmm? Don't look at me. I haven't had one. <coughs> oh. Sorry, uh... I thought it would be rude not to. You wet. You're, you're just a waste of air. And you are right. Do you have any more information on my daughter? She had a drug dealer by the name of Mr. Ice Juts. Does that name sound familiar to you? Ice Juts? I don't think so. Is he a long-term criminal? That's what we were hoping you would know. Sorry, boys. I'll get my man on it straight away and I'll call you. If anything comes up, all right? Thank you very much, I, I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, thanks, yeah. Love it. <clears throat> anyway, uh, thanks very much. Go off now. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Uh, uh, too late, Germans. Too late. Too late! <laughs> What are you reading? Oh my god. I think I know who the killer is. Oh my god, who? Oh, no, it's just uh, <clears throat> just the name of this book. <clears throat> it's actually a rather good read. You should read it. Well, I will. Who's it by? It's this crime author, Omar Gosh. <clears throat> and he's written all sorts of titles. There's uh, Jesus Christ, look behind you. Um, fuck, get down. And my favourite, uh, I'm sorry you've contracted TB. Tuberculosis. Interesting and captivating. Whilst at the same time, it doesn't seem to reveal much of the plot. I know. Ambiguous. Yeah. Wet. <clears throat> Do you think I'm not going anywhere with this? Ben, the cigar. A cigar oh. in your mouth. Yeah, sorry. <clears throat> Do you think we're getting anywhere with this Stacey Goff case? Yes, I do. Don't you? I'm just worried that the clues aren't leading us anywhere. Don't be silly, we've got loads of clues. Like what? Stacy being a coke-sniffing drug hooker? Well, for starters. And don't forget about Ice Juts. That name's only useful if Jack calls us and tells us he's got some information on him. Until then, Ice Juts is just a name. I've got some information on him. Jesus Christ and all that is holy. How did you get in it? Through the door. Wet. Yeah, I didn't lock that. You... What do I pay you for? Well, you don't, actually. Yeah. Would you like me to start paying you? Yeah, I would, because I'm struggling at the minute. The rent's gone up Stop and my mum's sick. Stop bloody door! What? Start locking the bloody door. Consider it done. Then just go home, Wet. I won't be long myself. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow, Ben. Goodbye. Excuse him. <clears throat> what can I do you for? About a tenner. 
It's funny because you're a prostitute. Mr. Alice Jutz. Really? Come, take a, take a seat. How can I be sure that you're going to tell me the truth? Well, Stacy isn't just my friend and co-worker. She's also my sister. <laughs> what? Your sister? Yes. Why didn't you tell me this earlier? I couldn't. Why? The other girls don't know. Why didn't you tell them? Well, because it's too dangerous. Why, why is this? Mr. Ice Jutz is the drug dealer in the brothel. What? That is incredible! I know! Oh, darling, you're, you're, you're drenched. Here, come, take this. Oh, thank you. Who is Ice Jutz? Do you know him? Well, no. He, he, he just sends his goons to the brothel and he never comes in himself. He never lifts a finger, apart from when he killed my sister. You believe it was him? I know it was. Stacy had been threatening to go to the police chief about the drug dealing in the brothel if she didn't get coke from him for a reduced price. And I bet when he found out that she knew the police chief, Did Stacy call you any time before she was murdered? No. She wasn't in yesterday, and I heard first about her murder from you today. I'm sorry. Thank you for doing this. Hey, come on. It's my job. We're not all bad, you know. Hmm? The people who choose to sell sex... You know, most of us are just trying to get by. I feel like you're one of those people who thinks that we just take coke and fuck middle-aged men all day and all night. What? No, I'd never think that. Really? Yeah, I, I do, actually. There you go. I don't judge you for it, though. It's just something to think about. You know, behind the sex-selling taboo exterior are real women with real hopes and dreams and wishes. Sophie. Sophie? That's my real name. Sophie Goff. You have a beautiful name. Thank you. You don't have such a bad name yourself, Mr. Ben Dover. No one had ever said my name in such a romantic manner before. I was afraid, but I knew what was happening. I couldn't take my eyes off her. It had been a long time since I was last helpless. Since I was lost. Since I was in love. Here. That's my number. Call me. If you have any news on the case, or Mr. Ice Jutz, or... I, I will. Oh, uh, Sophie, one, one more quick question. Why didn't you go to your father about this? About the murder, the sister, the drugs? Me and my father never got on. Stacy was always his favourite. You see, my mother died when we were young, and he took it really badly. <laughs> he moved into his office. He decided to become a police chief. And, uh, yeah, he labelled himself Mr. Justice. 
and he, he never came home. Well, he did come home, but after me and Stacy had gone to bed. I had no idea. He's a great police chief. Just not a great father. Mr. Justice. Really? Yeah. More like Mr. Police Constable. Stay at home all day. Yeah. Office all day. We'll get to the bottom of this. Thank you. It's been a pleasure, Sophie. See you. Ah, Ben, I did not know you were going to be here. Yeah, for a second I was sort of hoping not to be here. All right, yeah, sorry. Listen, Wayne, uh, I take it you've been down the brothel a couple of times before we went yesterday? Yes, you could say that. Yeah. Mm. Um, have you taken services from anyone other than Dixie? Ben, who do you think I am? Have you? Yes, I have. Mm. Mm. Have you and uh, Burby done anything? Uh, the girl from the other night? Yeah. No. <laughs> Oh, right. Why? Uh, no reason, Wet. No, oh, come on, why? No, 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 there's no reason. It was, just, it, was a, it was a perfectly random mm. question. You fancy her, don't you? Well, no. Yes, no, you no, 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 no. Yes, you fancy it's her. It's ridiculous. Yes, you fancy her. No, why would I? I don't know. Why don't you tell me, mate? Don't make me wet. Okay, I'm sorry. I am not in love with Sophie. Oh, no. Sophie, oh. you know her real name. Oh, so. You know a prostitute's so. real name. So. So? Yeah. What's the matter with that? What's the matter I'll with that? I'll stop repeating everything no, I say. But there, there is a matter with that. No, there is not a matter with that. There kind of there's is. There's not. Yeah, yes, there there's is. There's not. Yes, there is. There's not. You, you know Dixie's real name. What? No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yes, you do. You told me. When did I tell you? Yesterday. <laughs> and what did I say it was? Stunt cap. Stunt cap. Yeah. Stunt cap. That's not a real name. Yeah, it is a real name. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. You told me it was Dixie's real no name. No one is called Stunt Cap. Wow. Wow, Wed. How disrespectful. <sighs> Look, Ben, all I'm trying to say is that you know that Barbie's real name is Sophie yeah, yeah. and you clearly yeah. have a thing no, for her. No, and that no, is fine. I don't. Yes, you do. I don't. Yes, you do. I don't. You do. I don't. You do. I don't. You do. I don't. You do. I do. You don't. I do. You don't. I do. You do. I do. Oh, my God. Ben is in love. I am. Look, don't worry, mate. I'm sure it'll pass. It won't. Well, how do you know that? I've never felt like this about a woman before. She's... She's electrifying. Mm. You better shape up. Because she needs a man. And her heart is set on you. I better shape up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You better understand. 
To my heart, I must be true. Nothing left. Nothing left for me to do. Cause you're the one that I want. You are the one I want. Ooh, 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 honey. One that I want. You are the one I want. Ooh, 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 the one I need. Oh, yes, indeed. Summer Let's that. stop. Mm -hmm. Can you get that wet, please? Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Uh, sure. Yeah. Good. Hello. Hello. Mm -hmm. huh? Say, um, you're through to Detective Dover's office. How may I help you on this fine morning? Fine morning, this is Detective Bendover. Uh, you've got to... Oh, it's just, just too much. <clears throat> Hello. You're through to Detective Dover's office. How may I help you on this fine morning? Wow. Who is that? I don't know, Ed. I don't know. Do you have any suspicions? I believe I do, Ed. Who do you think it was? I believe I just spoke to the killer of Stacy Goff. What did they say? They told me to meet them at the parking lot this afternoon. This afternoon? Mm. But that's a death trap. Possibly. Do you have any suggestions? Oh, um, yes. Uh, ring Jack and get him to set up an ambush in the parking lot in the bushes just in case we need extra help if, if stuff... I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to ring Jack. Tell him to set up an ambush just in case I need any help when I'm there. Yes, good job. Ah, oh, big boy. For the fifth fucking time, Agnes, I can't do shit without the fucking evidence, you Swedish whorebag! Jack? Yes, this is Jack. Who's this? It's Detective Ben Dover. Oh, my apologies, Ben. Uh, I was, I the was... Swedish whorebag, yeah, yeah, I, I, I get it. You won't believe who's just phoned my office. Ice jumps. No, I... Wait, what? How do you know? Pretty easy guess, actually. Um, we're looking at him as our main suspect, and you call me saying, you won't guess who's just phoned our office, and I'm thinking, oh, wait, sick. Imagine if it's Ice Juts, and uh, it was. Cool. Anyway, he told me to meet him at the parking lot by the park this afternoon. That is incredible. What do you need? I need a team hiding in the bushes, ready to pop out at any moment. You got it. I'll get uh, some officers, plus myself, and a couple of cars, hiding on your position, in case something... Unexpected happens. That's perfect. We've got him. Yes, you do as he says and meet him in the parking lot at 10. We'll be there, hiding in the bushes. He won't know what hit him. Oh, uh, by the way, do we need a, um, like a, a safe word? A what? A safe word. Say, if I'm in the middle of a conversation with him and I need some help, but I don't want him to know that your guys are hiding in the bushes. Yeah, safe word. Good idea. Yeah. So, like, well, what's it going to be? I don't know, Ben. What do you want it to be? Uh, it's got to be something that could pass for everyday conversation. What about... Um, uh, uh, oh, my God. Look at that fox, that is amazing. Yeah, good. You got that? All of it? Yeah. Oh my god, look at that fox, that's amazing. Yeah, got it. Thanks. Oh, that fox. Oh. Well? We're gonna get him. Ice Juts. Yeah. I'm going to meet him in the parking lot as planned, and the police are going to ambush him. 
You're going alone. Hey. I have to. Ice Junts told me to meet him alone. You'll have to stay here for this one. We're a team. I know. I know we are. But we have to play by his rules. Yeah? I'd never forgive myself if anything happened to you. It's a bit gay, but... I don't care if it sounds gay. You be careful out there, all right? All right. Yeah. yeah well, I'll take my, my vest and yeah. my gun. You can take the vest? Yep, and the gun. Yeah? Yep. Huh? Yep. Okay. Well, thank you. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't scared. Hell, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't currently shitting myself. But this was it. This was the chance we'd got to catch the killer. I knew Ice Juts killed Stacy. I just knew. Also, I wouldn't look too bad in Sophie's eyes if I caught her sister's murderer. <gasps> Sophie, I was just talking about you. With who? Oh, no, I was just doing this voiceover thing. But anyway, I have to go now. I'm going to go and find Ice Juts and make him pay for what he did to Stacy. I know. Wet told me. There we go, then. Be really careful, Ben. Ice Juts, he's... He's not the sort of person you want to be fucking around with. Hey, I'm not gonna fuck around with him. But I am gonna make him get fucked in the ass when he's bending down to pick up that soap in the shower. You, you get it, because, you know, he's gonna go to jail. Oh. And, yeah. <laughs> Just, you know, come back in one piece, okay? Why do you want me to come back? I wouldn't want anything to happen to you. I see. What do you see? Us. I'll come back. Safe word, um, oh, um, oh my god, look over there, look at that cat. No, um, shit, uh, fuck, look over there, that's fucking, oh, f frog.
Mr. Ice Juts. That's me. I can't really see you. Good. Why did you want to meet with me? Do you have a gun on you? No. Hand it over. No. Sure. What are you looking at? Well, uh, just, just the cows. You know. Do you have children? No. Let me tell you a story about what it's like to have children. You're the happiest man alive the day they arrive. You realize you'll never love anything more than that bloody chunk of meat lying in your arms, screaming at you. You love them. You adore them. You want them to be happy, to be successful. Now let me tell you what happens when they turn their back on you, waste their life. None of what I've said before matters. You realize how bloody ungrateful they've been, how little they understand of the sacrifice you, as a father, have made to give them the perfect childhood. And what do you get in return? A filthy, dirty whore of a daughter who curses your name. Now, wouldn't you just be a little bit upset? You would. Anyone would. And do you know what I hate more than I hated my daughter? People snooping around where they shouldn't be, Ben. How could you? Your own daughter. She wasn't my daughter. Not anymore. I didn't raise a whore. Now, can you remember that safe word of yours, Ben? Oh, what a shame. because you knew she was playing around with the wrong people and she should never have threatened to go to the police. She's well. my sister. What? What? No, I'm just kidding. I actually already knew about that. Oh my God. Does this mean that her father is your father? Yeah, the police chief. Hang on. So he had two daughters and they both ended up as prostitutes? Yeah. Couldn't, couldn't one of you at least had a normal job, like a teacher or a nurse or something? I don't, I don't know, Dixie. I, I didn't write the script. Yeah, that is bad writing, actually, because, I mean, two inches, me, yeah, doesn't add up. Where is the detective, anyway? Uh, he's meeting Ice Jots. What? Well, he's never going to show, is he? Well, they said they were going to meet at the park, so if he didn't show up, then I reckon Ben will be back by now. Which means we're going to have to need to tidy this office, because, I mean, we did have fun, and it was great, but... 
I'm terrified of Ben and uh, this place is a tip, so let's go, let's go, let's go! father jokingly call himself? Mr. Justice. Mr. Justice. at the office working right now. I hope I'm bloody wrong with this one. Uh, hi, this is uh, Police Chief Jack Goff's office. You're, you're speaking to Gerald. Can I take a message? Gerald, it's wet farts from Ben Dover's office. Where is Jack? Oh, hi, where? Uh, he's out helping you, isn't he? Well, is there any way we can uh, get in touch with him? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You just give him a FaceTime. I mean, uh, this is the 40s. I don't know about that. Well, did he mention at all where he would be? No, weirdly, he just left me in charge of the office. Yeah, that is weird. What's weird? Thank you. So he's not in the office? No, apparently he's out with Ben. What are we going to do? We could have left Ben with a murderer. There is still a chance we can help him. What is there? We don't even know where Ben is. I have an idea. So you want to... Yes. And... Oh no! What are we going to do? Don't worry, Wet. We can still help Ben if we, if we just, if we just. I'm really sorry, I've, I've actually forgotten the line. Can I, can I, yeah. Can I just, okay. Yeah, yeah, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. Uh, uh. Oh, okay, so rooftop, so there's a showdown on the rooftop, oh, on the right. rooftop of the police station. Thank you. Nice. What a cool and innovative way of, of, of telling a story using the script to foreshadow what's going to happen. Uh, hello? Oh yeah. Um, do you want to come? I don't even know what this is. You're right. It, it might be safest if you just stay here. Fuck off, Sophie. I'm coming with. Yay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three-year-old Mary Patricia Goff was stabbed six times yesterday and was declared dead on sight by paramedics. The police have no suspects at this time and claim this is almost certainly an act of blind violence. Police Chief Richard Starkey sends his condolences to the family and friends of Mary Patricia. She's behind her husband and two daughters. Do you believe that? He sent his condolences. Well, isn't that a normal thing to do when someone in your jurisdiction is murdered? Well, maybe, Ben. All I know is those condolences never came. And that killer never served his time. He's still out there in the free world right now, killing women as we speak. Is that fair, Ben? Is it fair to end the life of your daughter, Jack? My daughter didn't have a life anymore. I did what any father would have done. I gave her peace. She was 22 for fuck's sake, man. She had a whole life ahead of her. She was one year younger than your fucking wife when she died. My wife was not a whore.
What now? What do you mean, what now? Well, you've got me tied up on top of a rooftop. What's your plan of action now? Well, turn around, see? What? Turn around. This is what I kill you. That's it. What? It's just gonna kill me this early on in the movie, right now. Yeah. yeah it cuts it a little bit short, doesn't it? I don't think it's been a, going on for a fair while now, like oh, for yeah. five. I suppose it has. Yeah, so if I just kill you now, we can all go home, get off this fucking roof, mm -hmm. you can have a shower. Yeah, yeah. You need a shower. I, I do need a shower, so yes. We can, um, uh, it's fine. But you know, well, look, yeah, you can at least let me try and win. Win? Yeah. What do you think? What do you think this is? A game of buckaroo? Uh, <laughs> no. Um, well, I don't know. If you just let Wet and Sophie come up here and then, then then kill me, it would just serve the story much better than just killing the main guy straight away. Hold up. I know what this is. What? You want to play the main characters, didn't you? From day one, you wanted to play Ben, and now no, you have it. You've got the chance to kill me off straight away. As soon as it's going to be, I didn't want to cut my ben. part. Short. I'm fine with my part. I like. I know my part. exactly what it is. You're this so makes so wrong. much sense to me now. This is ridiculous. That like you, every I day don't in the want canteen, to play your part. every day in the can, can, can sing, head down, walk straight past me, not even a hello, skull kick. I'm work. I'm focused. Yeah. Focused Method acting. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm on my game. Sure you are. And it show. I mean, you just you what you sort about. Yeah. Can't be friends with everyone. Oh yeah, I'm well, great. I'm just polite, isn't it? On you come, camera. Oh, he's fine. Just being polite. That's not acting. Well, yes, it is. There's no focus. There's no yeah, discipline. There is. There's focus and discipline. No? There isn't. There is. I didn't want your part. Just get, get a little bit defensive because I've found out your secret. There's no secret. Oh, there is a secret. There is no secret. There is a secret. I don't want your part. Right. No. I am happy. Mine. Work hard at it, and I do fine. I know you. I, I was joking. It's a joke. It's all right. No, it's all good. You're doing really good. You're doing really well. well you, you mean that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the old evil and, you know, the <laughs> angry bits. It's much harder than my role. Well, it is hard. It's harder. Yeah, mine's just a cliche, essentially. Yeah. Good. Well, thank you. It's all right. I'll try, Mum. That means a lot. Good. Mum even didn't, didn't even want me to be an actor. So. Really? Yeah. I said early on I'd want to be a doctor, so she you sort of she latched, boy. Yeah, yeah, she latched onto that, and then like. Well, what's that in her mind? Exactly. Money. So Money. I've got insecurities that way. Yeah. No, I get it. I get you. What do you mean, look at me? <laughs> yeah, look at me now. Look at me now, mum. Huh? I'm on a roof doing a scene. You know? Is she dead? No, no, no. She's on a business trip to Venezuela. Oh. Huh. You could be in a plane as well. Yeah, oh yeah, of course. Cool. Just help me stand by. Then we'll be on the roof. Oh, Ger Gerald! Ger Gerald! 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 Gerald, over the window! Over the window! Oh, hi, Hitler! Still not my name. What are you guys doing? Look, Jack isn't who you think he is. He's the killer. He is Ice Juts. What? But no, that could have What? Don't go. Put yourself together, man. We don't have much time. But, but he's so invested in this case. He wants to go and help Ben in the park. I saw him leave the office myself. Huh? Did you see him leave the building? Well, I didn't see him leave the building itself. Because we have pretty strong evidence to believe that he is on the rooftop of the police station right now. What evidence? The script. Oh, right, yeah, fair enough. Look, if we're right, we need to hurry, because Ben might not have that much longer to live. If you're right, I need to know. I'm coming with. Oh, come on. Well, let's go. Bend over. Where's Jack? He's over there taking a piss. Oh yeah, clearly. Come here. What? Come here, we'll go. 
come, oh yeah, because I'm just sat up here for fun, am I? You cretin. Oh, don't get sucked. We're here to save you. We need to find a way of getting the pistol off of Jack. What a lovely piss. I always like pissing from great heights. It gives me a sense of entitlement. Feels good. You like that? Well, well I guess you may have never experienced it. Well, Ben, looks like your friends ain't coming. And since I'm very bored, I think it's time to die. Um, what, um... Meow? What was that? That sounded like a cat to me. Meow! Uh, a, a female cat and a male cat. Nay! Two cats and a horse. Right, out, wherever you are, or your friend gets it. You aren't supposed to see this. I looked up to you. Shut up, Gerald. What are you doing here? Hello, Father. How's the prostitution going? Good. Seeing as I haven't been killed yet. Oh, well, it's your lucky day. I can't let any of you leave this rooftop alive. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I, I don't actually have anything to do with any of this, so... Do you think I could just... Just leave? Yeah, go on. Really? Yeah. Cool. Um, see you guys. Bye. Bye, Dixie. Actually, you know, I haven't really got anything to do with all this. So I'll just Shut up, Ben. Me. Why did you do it? She's not important. She's not main character. She doesn't need to be here. No, why did you kill Stacy? To put her out of her misery. She's 22. She was your daughter. She was my sister. As I've told your friend, Ben, here, I did not raise a filthy, dirty whore. Sorry. <clears throat> If you did uh, do the murder, why did you hire two private investigators to... Uh, in because you're the worst in the city. Beg your pardon? Well, you're the worst. I hired you two, so you'd spend the whole time fumbling around, and then eventually the case would go cold. Well, we're not the worst <laughs> of the No, worst. we are not the worst. How many years have you had your PI license? Fifteen years. How many cases have you solved? Forty-three. Wow. No? Sorry, let me rephrase the question. How many... Human cases. One. This one doesn't count. Shit. None, then. Well, how have you got 43 solved oh. non-human murders? <clears throat> we... We get a lot of calls for missing pets. Um, and mostly it's just they've been run over just down the road from the house of the, of the caller. That's awful. Yeah, it's a cruel world. Cruel world, Joe. Well, I used to have a Dalmatian called Leon. Well, don't care right now, it? it's not important. So. Yeah, it is a shit story. Yeah. Case in point, you shit. So, which one of you wants to go first, huh? What are you doing? I want you to shoot me first. Sophie, no, 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 no. Um, look, he, he didn't hesitate shooting Stacy, so why would he do the same for you? I'd listen to your friend. He didn't shoot Stacy. He didn't pull the trigger, at least. What makes you say that? Because I know you. I know my father and I know he would never do such a thing. Who then? He hired a hitman. Exactly. You wanted Stacy dead, but you couldn't face doing it yourself. You're too much of a coward. So you just got someone else to do your dirty work. Just to somehow justify it. To make it less fucked up. But it's very fucked up. You hired them. Your money paid for that bullet that killed my sister. And now, you're just a hollow shadow of a man. It's just consumed by anger. I don't recognize you. I want to speak to my father. I know he's in there somewhere. Go on, take off your mask. Remove your fucking safety net and just speak to me. Speak to me like your Soph, like little Sophie, who you used to take for walks in the park with mum. 
who you taught to play the piano when she was only three. Who you used to sing Judy Garland at full pitch with. Come on, speak to me like my father. Fine. Don't. But finish what you've started. Someone call an ambulance! I deserve this. No, don't talk. It'll only make it worse. I think we know how this is going to end. Yes, we're going to take you to the hospital and they'll stitch you up and and we'll just we'll just take it from there. I'm sorry. Stacy's dead. An apology can't undo that. Do you remember the first song I taught you? Yes. Prove it. Somewhere over the rainbow way up high birds fly over the rainbow why then oh why can't I He'll be okay. <laughs> I take it back. <laughs> oh, I thought I might never see this office again. That was a beautiful funeral, Sophie. Yes, it was. Look, it, it's terrible that it had to end this way. But maybe it's for the greater good. Look, I genuinely believe that everything happens for a reason. Can you uh, <clears throat> give us a moment? Yeah, sure, we'll wait outside. Sophie took her father's death tougher than I expected. I think she saw her father for the first time in decades when he was dying in her arms. And when he left again, it hit her hard. She'll be alright though. We have each other. I can't help but think that my father was just sick and needed some help. Your father wouldn't want you to think of it like that. If I understood correctly, your father, when he was your father, was a kind, caring, and loving man who loved his daughter. He was. Then that's the way we're going to remember him. You're right. Thank you. So what now? I don't know. Any new murder cases need solving? I know of a pretty good PI office in town. Do you now? Yes. 44 successfully solved cases. Both human and non-human. <laughs> <laughs> oh, s sorry. Um, Sophie, do you, do you mind if, if I... Uh... Have a quick word with you. Sure. Um, just, I just wanted to tell you how, how sorry I am for all of this. I, I didn't, I didn't know what I was doing. I just did what I thought was right at the time. I did, but actually, I see. You, you did what was necessary. I don't blame you at all. I'm so sorry. It's all right.
What the fuck's happened to my desk? What the? My bloody grandma's desk. You know the other day when you were out of your office, you went to get ice cream? Yes. Well, uh, I walked into your office and there was a black mumba. What's a black mumba doing on my desk? Well, I don't know. It was on your desk, definitely. Yeah, though. sure it was. Yeah. Well, it probably has something to do with Bert, that zookeeper we arrested the other week. He was quite bitter. He was, wasn't he? Mm. Had lots of snakes, so... Yeah. Makes sense there. Well, why is he leaving it on my desk? I don't know. I don't know inside Bert's mind, but... I mean, you know, you did uncover his insurance fraud, so... Uh, and then pictures as well, didn't we? Yeah, we did. But not the animals. Mm. I don't think he was too pleased about that. No. Oh. But anyway, so he's obviously using his connections in the animal kingdom to uh, try and get killed. But don't worry, I got rid of the snake. The How? Only th well, it was a. Oh, we were fighting tooth and limb. Yeah. Yeah, really going for it. Really long tussle. You know, I. I eventually threw him out the window, got rid of him, but uh, I broke the table in the fight. How? I body slammed him. Body slammed the snake. Quite, yeah. Just, he was constricting me, so I kind of used him as a counterweight and smash into the, into the desk. Wow. Yeah. Uh, it was a uh, really quite scary, actually. But that's what happened to the desk, and yeah. that's definitely <clears throat> the truth. Right, um, okay. What are we going to do about getting a new desk, then? Well, uh, you remember Dan, my cousin? Dan, oh, the, the one with the... Yeah, 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 yeah Dan. Yeah. Uh, anyway, he's got this uh, great new job at this cool new company in Germany, uh, and they um, make these fantastic tables made out of the shavings of these elm trees that grow really high up in the Bavarian mountains. Yeah. Yeah, anyway, so uh, I found one that would suit your, de you know, suit your office perfectly. Right. Um, <clears throat> now, wait, how much is this going to um, set me back? Well, I found the money somewhere, so you don't need to worry about that. Where? From a certain budget. Doing a certain budget? Uh, the budget for the film. No, well, it's, they, they, we can't use the budget from the film, because there's barely any budget in the film. Well, yeah, I may have used all the budget in the film to get it. It's really nice desk. It's really nice I don't desk. Care about <sighs> You're not understanding. How, how, if there's no budget, there's no film. Well, if there's no budget, then that means that the film might get cut short any minute. I cut short? <laughs> Don't take the piss. Still more five more scenes to go, isn't there? Well, I, I don't know. It could be. But well, no, there is. I've signed bloody contract. I've got my best scenes in the last five scenes. <sighs> That's another thing about your contract. It's voided as of when. Ah. Oh. Uh, yeah, so... Fuck off, Lawrence. It's... Well, You're Matt, it's, I'm not... Unprofessional. Don't... Matt, look, listen. It's a great table. It's a really good table. Back off! Fuck off. You can't have something like that, you little twat. Detected over. Scene one, take one. Yeah. She had uh, one gun shot. Gun the bit here. Gun shot. One gun. And stripped naked. Stripped naked before she was thrown into the lake. So she was thrown into the lake, then stripped naked. No. Other way around. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's a good Keep it. Keep it. It might be hell. It, 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 it might be hell. What? Report down. Me. Then it's D. 
ding dong. Come in. It's <laughs> <laughs> just a joke, darling. <laughs> Thank God for cookie. Huh? Can I help you, gentlemen? Huh? Yeah. Fantastic game, isn't it? Let's cut it. 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 Grandma sucked granddad's dick until we got it. My sister. Your sister? Because if they found out. She's gonna bring another She's soaked in my life. Think of all them poor what, Ben young stunt caps in the world. Crying. Because they wet farts. So their names didn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> I better shape up. Ooh, ooh, you better understand. To my heart, I must be true. Never enough. Nothing left for me. <laughs> yeah. oh. Never enough. <laughs> Never enough. <laughs> People snipping around where they shouldn't be. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be here, I just... Why did you kill Stacey? To put her out of her misery. <laughs> <laughs>